What's up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and if you've been paying attention to Black Ops 3 recently, then you know that the AN-94 was actually put into supply drops for this game, and a lot of people are really hoping that they could get this weapon, because I mean, it is a pretty good gun, it is one of the best assault rifles from Black Ops 2, and it's very fun to use, so overall this gun is just very good, but again, the only way you can get this weapon is through supply drops only, and I've had friends that have spent hundreds of dollars, I know Noah J spent like, I want to say $300 if not more to get this weapon. But over on Twitter last night, I saw this guy named I'm Fun who spent $1,000 to get the AN-94. He spent $1,000 to get a single weapon from Supply Drops only. And uh, according to him on Twitter, he said that some of the PSN money was uh, donated to him from PSN credits or something like that. I really don't know how it works, but he didn't spend it out of his uh, pocket basically, but he just had a bunch of credits that he used in order to get the AN-94. Regardless of how he got the weapon though, imagine if some guy actually spent $1,000 on supply jumps. I, I'm pretty sure that has happened before for this game. Uh, people have spent hundreds if not thousands of dollars in order to get a single weapon from supply drops and that's where I do kind of draw the line that's where I kind of you know actually I'm a hundred percent positive that supply drops are pretty much a scam for Black Ops 3 I mean at least for Infinite Warfare we can craft the weapon we want but for Black Ops 3 it is literally a scam if you spend money on supply drops to get a single weapon now during my time when I played Black Ops 3 I actually I'm not gonna lie I did spend money on supply drops to get weapons but I I was actually very very lucky I think in total I did spend over $300 I know I do regret that a lot because looking back it was a terrible decision because I did intend to make videos on the weapons that were that were new that were only in supply drops and I did but I really didn't make that money back and again $300 is really a lot of money for just some broke ass college student but I mean, I don't know, just whenever I see some somebody that spends over $100 on any weapon for, for a Black Ops 3 Infinite Warfare or anything like that, I just kind of, you know, facepalm a little bit. I mean, I myself am a victim, like I said, but it, supply jobs for Black Ops 3 is a huge scam. You are wasting your money by spending your cash on supply jobs when it can be used for a lot more useful things instead of a dumb video game that's probably not even going to last for about two more years. I mean, Black Ops 3 is a pretty fun game. I'm not going to lie. It is a lot of fun, but I don't think it's worth spending over $500. I mean, like I said, it is pretty fun, but I mean, over $1,000 on a $60 video game that only has a lifespan of about two years, and that's not really the smartest decision in my honest opinion. And uh, like I said, I do feel pretty bad about the money that I spent for Black Ops 3. But looking back here, the whole system for that game, the whole supply jump system is a huge, absolute 100% scam. There is no other way you can uh, put it. It's just a pure scam. And I really do hope that Call of Duty World War II supply drop system is a lot better than Black Ops 3's. And I do feel that if you put in the hours, the time, and the dedication into the game, then you should be able to unlock anything you want in the game. But that's just how I feel. Again, I really do hope Call of Duty World War II does a better system than Black Ops 3's. And maybe something similar to IW and MWR, but maybe a little bit different. But I want you guys to tell me your thoughts about this in the comment section down below. Also, drop a like if you guys did enjoy. And thanks so much for watching. I'm a very tough of the day. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.